Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. I am Austin Ward in the virtual Letterman Row Film Lab, again joined by my good friend Jonah Jackson, now a former member of the Buckeyes. So that means that there's a spot open that must be replaced at guard, Jonah. And yes, sir. And you told me a couple times that you know, you know, Harry Miller has been one to watch. And, and why is that? What is it that Harry Miller could bring to the Buckeyes this season? Uh, you know, Harry Miller, you just, you just look at him and you, you see somebody who – who doesn't look like a, a true freshman last season. He was, what, 6'4", about 3'15", and he's he's pretty chiseled up. He's a strong dude. He's, he's definitely ahead of the curve, and, you know, that's just not physically. That's mentally. Uh, he's an engineering major, so he's a smart, easily processing guy. So I feel like once he gets all this, those things put together and co he gets to working with Coach Studd and the rest of the O-line, the sky's the limit. I know that – and you've been through this, you've described, you know, you still, when you come to Ohio State, the level of competition, the expectations are such that nobody is given a job and you earned one last year. Harry Miller still has to do that. He didn't get to go through a full spring. Is that a big deal uh, for an offensive lineman? He, he's, he was looking to fight to take your spot and replace you and he only got three practices. Is that a big, big deal in his development or how, how would he overcome that? You think? Um, definitely, you know, just, just, Missing out on that spring ball definitely, you know, puts kind of a, a, a halt to the, to the progression of his, his skill and being able to hone in on his craft. But, you know, I, I definitely think he's working right now and becoming the best lineman he can be for when it, when it comes time for him to be prepared to fight for that spot. And along with guys like Gavin Cup, Enoch Vamahai, mm -hmm. all them dudes that – Matt Jones competing for interior spots, I, I believe those guys will all be sharp and, and ready to roll. When, when he got a chance, and you mentioned – you know, Enoch and Matt Jones, I mean, you guys were up in so many games and we're going to break down, you know, some of these late reps that Harry Miller got last year. Like th these guys actually got a lot of action for freshmen. I mean, you guys yeah. took care of your business in a half and they'd get a bunch of reps. What was it like to watch them and, and work and, and how does that maybe help their development? Um, you know, it, it's exciting because you, you see the young guys, you know, they're always asking for pointers and stuff and and they're kind of not at the wayside, but they're, they're just waiting, you know, for their turn. And then to see them be able to come out in the live action and, and, and produce and, and, you know, like DeWan, he had that big crushing down block for his <laughs> Northwestern and he's running down the field. And it's just, you know, like you take pride in moments like those helping guys like that develop and, and turn into, turn into men and, and ferocious animals that you want on the offensive line. Well, fortunately for me and, and I guess for the Buckeyes as well, that also gave us some clips to break down for Buck IQ that Harry Miller got in the game. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Jonas, we go in here. I remember you saying right away, like watching these young guys is meaningful for them, for their development, but it's stuck in your mind. Just like the, the fact that you were on the sideline watching them and you guys as teammates get so invested and, and you remember that Enoch Vamahi was out there. Dewan Jones got some run, like these reps, why do they stand out in your mind? Why are they so important as we break them down? Oh, uh, well, you know, True freshman stepping on the field, you know, that's a very hard task. But being able to see these guys come in as, as, as young dudes and turning into men and, and being the, the next faces of the program, it's it's exciting. You take a lot of pride in it, especially with guys that, that in the in interior that I, I've coached up and, you know, helped out a lot with a lot of things, giving pointers and stuff like Enoch, Harry, Ryan Jacoby and all those dudes. And then to finally be able to see them put it on show for the coaches to know that, that we have – endless linemen and just keep reloading at that position for years to come. It, it's awesome. It, I mean, I, we're going through this and I, I don't always remember the fourth quarter of these games, but as well as you guys do, but like, I just, I'm noticing Dewan Jones here flashing right away, looking like he could have killed somebody and maybe he pulled <laughs> up. I, that's not a, that's not a Jonah Jackson move. You got to finish him <laughs> off, don't you? Yeah. He, he Dewan, Dewan's got the killer in him. He's, he's, he's getting there, <laughs> but he, he looked good getting up to the second level uh, right here. I think this is a little inside zone action. Um, you know, you see the effort downfield. That's the number one thing, especially with younger guys. You're not going to see everything so perfect, so accurate and precise and landmarks and assignment. But the number one thing you want to look for is effort. And you see all those – you see that, that's offensive linemen 10 yards down the field at the running back. And, and those are things you look for in guys. That's, you, can't that's coach, you can't coach effort. That's almost the only thing I can ever pick up with line play is if there's a put, if I can see the the line of scrimmage move, the technique must have been good. That's all I can. Tell. <laughs> exactly. You see them white jerseys move past that block out, and you see guys downfield. That's that's, that's a good sign. He's right there, Harry had a little nice seal off block to uh, break up for Demario. 
Now, when Stud is, is grading this after, you know, does he grade these freshmen harder for the fourth quarter of a game than the starters might just because they have limited reps? Or, or what are those conversations like the next week as they move forward? You know, each week and when everybody plays, everybody will watch film together. You know, he, he treats the, the starters the same as the young guys, whether it's coaching points and, and breaking down their, their different techniques and, and on run plays and, and pass plays. Say they had a mishap or they did a good job will help them, um, you know, just better understand the knowledge of the game and what it takes to be able to go out there and play on Saturdays. When he When he's talking about Harry Miller, when you're giving him tips and you have, like, a drive like this or a game like this where he gets in, like, what have you guys seen that you know he's got to do to take the next step? Because we know – we've heard all about the positives for him. We know how bright the future can be. What will be, what'll be the things that you guys talk about to get him ready to be that kind of starting caliber player? Um, you know, just keep, keep getting him an experience. Keep, keep training and never, never end honing in on your craft. Um, you know, this, this offseason and, and this time is definitely a big indicator of how far he's come from this game and last year as a freshman. And now he's no longer a young guy. He's an older guy in the, in the, in the room. And, and people are start looking up, up to him and asking him for pointers. So this will be a big test of, of how he has, has developed and matured. And, you know, no doubt in my mind, Harry, Harry will do above and above, beyond his expectations for anybody that has any expectation for him. Helped Demario McCall punch it into the end zone right there. That's oh, yeah. a successful drive for the Buckeyes. Yes, uh, sir. Maybe a sign of what's to come as Harry Miller tries to get in there, replace some big shoes. Jonah Jackson moving on to the next level uh, and giving us some of his time again very generously right here at Letterman Row for Buckeye Q. Jonah, thanks for your time, man. Good luck. Of course. Thank you, Austin. My pleasure. Right, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buck IQ with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.